What's up everyone for the Winatachi here, you know what it is, playing Pokemon Magic Carp Jump, where today I'm going to showcase to you guys the user interface and basics of this game and how to navigate. So, as you guys can see on the top of the screen, you can see where it says Jump Power. This is the basically core of your game. This is what you need to do. It is your JP, which is your score for each Magic Carp. That's kind of how they level up. And as you guys can see on the top, it says Generation 7 behind that live one. It says Jump Power, um, which is JP, which I have 46.0k of. Um, Magic Carp is currently female, as you guys can see. And it just basically gives you details on your current Magic Carp, which mine is currently level 19 out of 21. Next up, you guys have a menu option, which you guys can go ahead and click. Shows you your next goal, which my next goal is currently to beat the Great League. There are eight different leagues, kind of like there's eight gyms to do in each and every region. Um, you can go ahead and click on menu options such as decorate, which I don't have that much of since I haven't really gotten any in this game yet. I haven't purchased any, but the only one that I have been given was this little post sign here. But you can go ahead and click on each of these, and um, you, if you have decorations, you can go ahead and put them in those given slots. Now, if this close button would work, that'd be great. There we go. You can also change the themes of your little uh, background here. You can go start upon, forest lagoon, or mainstream, or mountain stream, um, which I'm going to go ahead and switch on over to. Back into the menu, you got items, which are the current items in your bag, which I currently have a broken Everstone, but if you do purchase items, that's where they will be. Achievements, um, number of logins. Oh, sweet. I've got an achievement. So I can go ahead and click on that, get my reward. And these are achievements for you to do and complete throughout the game, kind of like quests. And up top, claim diamonds for achievements. I currently have 20 out of 21. Once I hit 21 achievements, I can claim some diamonds, which are another currency in this game. Purchase, this is where you purchase your using IRL money. Um, this is where you purchase basically coins and gems and diamonds and all that stuff. Or you can go to the exchange office and trade in for tickets, which you can purchase as well. Next up, you got your settings, all the basics. And last but not least, your diamond miner, which sadly I'm not going to purchase using real life money, so I'm going to ignore that. Of course, you got the main screen, which you guys can see. I have a bunch of fruit and everything. Nope, Sylvia and I can read. Um, you can see I'm just doing something. You can see your main screen and everything. So you guys can see there's like fruit to go ahead and collect. There's your Magikarp in its pond. There's a Piplup and other Pokemon in the background. And I can go ahead and uh, use that if I wanted to, which I'll be showing you guys in a different video on how all of that works. Next up, you've got on the bottom left the uh, Pokemart or the town. Right side, you got uh, your records, which is kind of like your game completion. You got a pattern dex, which you can go ahead and click. Different, this is basically transmog for those of you that play World of Warcraft. These are like different patterns of Magikarp that you can collect through different generations and stuff throughout the game. Your current status of the current Magikarp that you have. An event dex that shows you all the events that you have unlocked and have completed. And last but not least, your Hall of Fame, which is all of the leagues that you will be able to go through. Next up, shop. This is where you use diamonds to go ahead and purchase items, such as training soda, power up, LP restore. These are kind of like buffs throughout the game. Decorations, uh, Kafuri doll, Shaman, Cacnea, Sunflora, and all that stuff. And these give you little buffs as well. And last but not least, friendship items. These are Pokemon, as you guys saw, I did have a Piplup. These do specific things. For example, Piplup gives me a charge into my training power. Um, which allows me to go ahead and do another training session with my Magikarp or a light ball increase for Pikachu Which actually gives you JP points by just clicking on Pikachu up on top stuff like that Next up you purchase with coins such as increases into your training resumes and uh, I can actually do that with Dwebble right now. So let's go ahead and purchase that now I've increased my Dwebble push training to rank 9 and you can also purchase increases to specific foods and fruits that appear in your pond. Next up, training. In the middle, you can go ahead and uh, click train, which will go ahead and give you into like quick little tiny two second mini games that will go ahead and give your Magikarp some training jump points. And last but not least on the bottom right, this is where you go ahead and click, take you to the league where you go ahead and adventure through different various battles. You can go ahead and click on the league map. 
or you can click on rewards which will show you the rewards throughout the league. That's pretty much the user interface. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Peace.